So, I'm entitling this video the rest of the story and the background for Ishida Mogi's uh, interview with me tomorrow. Um, you may have some questions about things in this playlist that you've looked at so far, and I, I thought I could perhaps answer some of them. First of all, in this uh, transplantation interview of me, you would recognize at the end there are only three references. So there are the three references. And it might be kind of frustrating that it, you may get the impression that only one of them works. The Mallory Chipman link works just fine. But the thing to know about the other two, the first one, the ISN Disaster Relief Task Force link, has two breaks in the URL. And in order to get that link to work, you have to remove those spaces and then it works just fine. The second link to my 60 Minutes interview from 97, um, that only works on Chrome. It works great on Chrome. You, you can download the, the uh, QuickTime movie and, and play it, but in other browsers it may not work um, I think it'll work in other browsers on a PC, but maybe not on a Mac. Um, so let, let me show you more about this uh, uh, Disaster Relief Task Force link. So this is what the page you're going to actually looks like. And it's a kind of dynamic page. Every time the ISN Disaster Relief Task Force does something new, what they're doing appears on this page. So it's kind of important if you're interested in what the task force is doing. Here's the latest thing. ISN protocols, vital to save kidney disease patients after Iran earthquake. That's from the 20th of November 2017. Now the URL, you can see up here, that's what the complete URL looks like. Um, and because in the transplantation article it's broken twice, um, let me show you if so if you just click on the URL in, the tra in, in an online version of the transplantation interview, it, it doesn't go anywhere useful because of the spaces inserted in the URL. So this is the way it looks if you just copy and paste into a browser. And there are spaces then here and here. Space between before this 20 and a space before www. So if you delete the space in both instances, then the URL works just fine and you go to that ISN page. Let me show you the QuickTime movie that I was talking about before. Here it is. This is from 60 Minutes in 97. So this is the file that you'll end up downloading if you access that URL on Chrome. Um, so, and th this is what the actual video looks like. Um, it's low res, but um, 
and it's fairly short. I'll just play it for, for you now. It is remarkable that we don't know today where this came from, and, and you know, it's more than a year after this uh, happened. Dr. Kim Solis, a physician in Edmonton, Canada, has worked to end poisonings like the one in Haiti. The big concern is, do we know that this is stopped? We, we know that it's stopped in Haiti, but do, do we know that it's not still going on in other countries? The only way to know that is to find out what's where it came from in China and whether that source is still uh, continuing to produce this toxic mixture. Investigators had another reason to worry about Sinochem. According to this FDA memo, they learned that a German company had recently blacklisted Sinochem for trying to sell another impure pharmaceutical additive. But in Haiti, the obvious question is, why would anyone add poison to glycerin in the first place? Health officials say they see a profit motive. They found that in previous poisonings in other countries, diethylene glycol had been substituted for glycerin in medicine apparently because it was cheaper, at least 50% cheaper. The Chinese were not implicated in those incidents. Could it have been an accident that this was being done by whatever that firm was in China? Sure, anything's possible. Um, but you're skeptical. We're skeptical. It was counterfeit. It was specifically designed to superficially look exactly the same as, as the non-toxic substance. This was something done on purpose, uh, but the purpose was a um, monetary one. It was not with the intent uh, to kill people. So that's that video. Um, so I also wanted to show you um, there is a reference in the gold medal uh, award article. Let's see if this is the right one. Yeah, so in here, in this uh, article uh, accepting the gold medal award. Uh, there's reference to microscope stands that recently the students uh, created a microscope stand with a photo collage of my favorite, uh, their, their favorite uh, Facebook pictures of mine. And um, that sort of goes full circle with the fact that Dr. Heppenstall's first act of kindness <laughs> when he started training me had, had to do with saying that he thought that I, I needed a stand for my microscope so I wouldn't be all hunched over when I used it. So that microscope stand, um, I can show you what it looks like. Here, here it is. So, this is the microscope, and you can see this collage of pictures that goes all the way around. So the students created a, a book. They curated a book of uh, my Facebook pictures and poetry, and then uh, surrounded this two-part microscope stand with those pictures. <clears throat> and if you're interested in what the whole collage looks like, that is the whole collage of pictures. It's in two parts. So that's one of them. And this is the other. And so these are pictures that I put on Facebook that the students then selected as their favorites. Um, so anyway, I, I, I thought you might want to know about that. Um, the other thing is that um, in many of the videos in the playlist, you see a slideshow playing in the background. 
and you may wish for higher resolution view of that slideshow. So here it is. And you know we could we could start at any point. Um, so this is the iconic picture for future and all that jazz. This is the 2018 Termos meeting. And this uh, these are the lyrics from Hurt Me Tomorrow, August 7th, 2099. Um, I'll just kind of annotate some of this. Uh, this is the song 2525, and it goes up to the year 5555. I don't know if you can conceptualize that year. So local heroes, so the Banff classification. Uh, so there is actually a movie, as you may know, Local Hero, shot in Scotland close to Penan, where uh, Michelle Hales and I visited as a site visit for the 2003 meeting. Here we are at the 2003 meeting. And, um, since 2007, we've used student staffing. These are pictures of the students. Patricia Backus did video in the 2017 meeting. This is Nikki Olson, who helped me with many different things. Lori Bennett and Tatiana Zagoric, who's doing videography with me now. And then Daniel Cerrone, who was the local um, leader of the 2017 meeting in Barcelona. This is pictures from the first meeting in 91. And basic background about the classification. And then the 1993 meeting, the 1995 meeting, the liver group at the 1995 meeting. 1995 action shot. It's interesting, all the different people there and more 1995 shots. At the bottom you see the themes of the meeting and this is the Bamp Springs Hotel where we began meeting in 97. This is the 1999 Bamp meeting and um, Glamari Lattice Study Group Agnes Fogo in 99, and um, my wife Elaine, Larry Hunsker and Agnes, and here's Bob Colvin with us. 2001, Pramjit Randhawa and Volker Nikolait in 2001, Peter Furness in 2001, Lorraine Rackison in 2001, David Rush, Denny Glotz in 2001, Stuart Cameron and Andy Rees, the macrophage guy, for, in, for the 2003 meeting in Scotland, Doug Wilson, the dean who recruited me here as chair, uh, the Sony Ibo robotic dog with Sarah Hales, uh, Michelle Hale's daughter, Michelle and Janice. They were main staffing prior to 2007. The Rackison family, Phil and Ginny Halloran and Vito Ramasar, um, people from 2005 meeting, and uh, Bono Sis in 2005. Michelle Hales and Eduardo in 2007. 2007 was the transition to student staffing. Here's Michael Mihach and Bono Sis asking a question in 2007. Ian Gibson, Roz Mannon in 2007, Michael Mengel, 2007. Eduardo and Lorraine discussing things. Nikki Olson and me by our philosophy poster. And um, Paula Blanco, Tori Sheldon, Michael in 2007. <clears throat> Tori Sheldon and Nikki Olson together. Nikki with two other registrants. 
Eduardo and Lorraine and Richard Rackson. 2007 meeting, dinner in a castle. Uh, and 2009, the jubilant students, <laughs> after it was over, and they were returning to Edmonton. Uh, pictures of Lorraine and Michael from 2009, Mark Haas. And uh, the Isolated V Legion, Bono Sis, 2011. And uh, action shot from 2017 in Barcelona. This is where we think we will be in 2021, the Kneer Center. And from that building, you can see the original building where we were in 1991. This is the starting slide, which is also the third slide, <coughs> third figure in the gold medal. Um, students, um, action slide. Homer Smith, who was the first author who turned me on to the kidney and some of his philosophical writing and fish to philosopher. Louis Armstrong, um, turned me on to jazz and trumpet. Robert Heptonstall, my mentor. Uh, this is the article that we did on the pathology of ATN and man and uh, of the 12 lesions, only two correlated with renal functional impairment. <clears throat> and um, so that means if you lump all the lesions, you never get anything useful, it's still referred to. The, the findings have never been contested. So if you're comparing anything else, you have to look at those two lesions. Heptonstall called it the best that can be done with a difficult subject. Then we went on to transplant acute tubular injury, and um, that was different because brush border loss is not as prominent. Leonard Cohen has been an important part of my life, and uh, surprisingly, I visited him in 2005, and subsequently he composed a song that became the song Treaty, the best uh, and that, that was based on Banff Borderline. Paul Simon is also an influence. Janice Joplin, uh, Rod Stewart, uh, Lorraine's famous uh, fa favorite uh, singer. Um, here I am at age three with my father and my first international thoughts, age seven with Queen Elizabeth's coronation. The ideas that I had at age seven of what women could do from uh, Yasmini and the essay that I wrote about um, the advantage of women leaders after the singularity. Ray Kurzweil, my main uh, singularity influence. Peter Diamandis, also a very important influence. Ed Sheeran, I went to a recent concert of his important musical influence. This is the building where it all began in 91. This is the slide box we used at that time, which we still have, and Triton Walker analyzed, and that slide box was used for a workshop in 2004 in Aleppo, Syria, believe it or not. Mallory Chipman, a very important influence on me. We have the Future and All That Jazz initiative, and that's where we began with the slide set. Um, so that, that will give you some background for some of the th things that we will be discussing um, in the uh, interview with, with Ashita Moki tomorrow. Hope you enjoyed this. this. Thanks very much. Bye-bye.